Hey everyone, welcome to the channel and to my first Lightroom tutorial. So I wanted to edit all three of these photos in one video, but it ended up being over 30 minutes long and I wanna be able to explain why I'm making the adjustments I do. So if you wanna see any of the other three photos edited, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a part two of this video. All right, so let's jump into Lightroom. Okay, so for this video, we're gonna start with this photo. This is one of my favorite ones out of the bunch, so we'll go ahead and start with it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is reset it. And now this is the photo raw straight out of the camera. So the first thing I want to do is crop it and I'm going to crop it four or five for Instagram. And it is a little bit crooked. So I'm just going to straighten it up a bit. And I think uh, somewhere, somewhere around there, I think it looks pretty good. Good enough anyways. So I'll start with the basic panel and kind of work my way down. The first thing I want to do is bring the temperature more towards the cool side, but not too much, just maybe about three, just to give a little bit of the blue tint in the top right here and the overall photo. Then I want to bring the exposure up maybe about 0.26 looks pretty good and add some contrast about 18 looks good just to give it a little bit more pop and separation from the background. So there's not very many highlights and whites in this photo. There's a few right here and some of the boots. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. And then I'm just going to bring the shadows up a bit and the blacks up a bit. Maybe not quite that much. I think about 15 looks okay. And for the presence, I'm going to come back to this later. So for now, we're going to leave it alone and move on to the tone curve. The tone curve is going to give us the most out of this image. So the first thing I want to do to get that matte faded look is pull the, the blacks up a little bit, maybe around 10, and then bring the lights down a bit, about the same. Then I'm going to create two points, create one right here on the shadows. I'm going to pull these down so I get to where I like, I think about right there looks good. And I'm going to do the same for the highlights up here, except I'm going to pull them up. And then this pulling these highlights up right here is really going to make the boots pop and give a lot of color right here. So if we pull these up. You'll see it's really changing the way those boots look. And I don't want to go too crazy with this, but maybe somewhere around here looks good for now. And we'll probably come back and revisit all this. But for now, I think it looks okay. Uh, one thing I did notice is we're getting a lot of purple and blue in the jeans. So we're going to go to the HSL and color slider. And I'm going to start at the beginning and kind of work my way down. So what I like to do is grab the hue slider and just go back and forth until I can see what exactly it's affecting in the photo. So we know it's affecting the boots right here and then a little bit of the wood. So I don't want to change the hue because I like the way the boots look like they are, I like the color of them but I'm just gonna pull a little bit of those reds out, just a little bit, maybe maybe like negative seven, negative five, and then boost the luminance just to make them pop a little bit. And then the same for the orange, I'm gonna leave the hue alone. I'm actually not gonna do anything with the saturation, but I'm gonna pull the, the luminance up just a little bit. As far as the yellow, I don't see any yellow in this photo, so I'm gonna leave that alone and the greens. So we have some greens right here in the water. Um, if I move this back and forth, you can kind of see that. And I want to move them a little bit towards the blue side. So maybe like 0.15 and then I'm going to desaturate these quite a bit. So I think around maybe around negative 80. And then again, I'm going to boost these luminance maybe to about 10 just so it's not looking too dull and it has a little bit of pop to it. So next we'll move to the aquas. There's not a lot you can see at the top. It's right here in the, the highlight section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the hue where it's at, but I'm going to desaturate it around 35, I think. And then again, boost this to about seven. Looks pretty good. Now for the blues, 
We need to take a lot of these blues out of the jeans, so I'm gonna desaturate this quite a bit. Probably somewhere around negative 90, and then just kind of boost that luminance. Not too much, but I think around 16 looks good. And the same for the purple. There is, if, if I toggle this, you can see in the jeans, it's quite a bit of purple in there. So I'm gonna pull those out by desaturating it. Maybe somewhere around 65, 70. We'll do 65, looks pretty good. And then again, boost the luminance just a little bit. And then magenta, there's not a lot of magenta in the photo, so I'm just gonna leave that alone for now. So if I toggle this color slider, you can see it makes a huge difference. There was a lot of greens and blues and then a lot of blues in the pants and then we kind of got rid of those. So now we have more of a muted photo. So for color grading, I'm actually gonna to come to this later. I like to color grade as one of the last things I do. I'm gonna skip that and go to the details. So what I wanna do is mask this out so I'm not sharpening everything because I don't want to sharpen the water and just have a really no noisy photo. So I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and then drag this until we get only the boots and maybe a little bit of the jeans. So I think somewhere around 49, 50 looks pretty good. And then I'll bring the sharpening up to around 70 or so. Looks pretty good. So the photo is not very noisy. Um, I actually like the way it looks, so I'm not going to put any noise reduction in it. And then we'll go down to the lens correction. And there's not a lot of chromatic aberration in this photo either, but just out of habit, I'm going to click this and then enable profile correction. I'm going to leave that alone because I like the way the, the photo looks coming straight out of the camera. I don't want any type of correction going on. As far as the effects, I'm going to give it a slight vignette. I think somewhere around 22 looks good. And then just a little bit of grain, not too much, but I think around eight or nine looks okay. All right, so now that we've kind of made it through everything except for the calibration, I'm gonna to come to this last. I'm gonna go back up to the basic and then I'm gonna bring the exposure up just a little bit. Somewhere around there I think looks good. And just looking at this photo, it looks a little bit, I think I might've overcorrected it on the angle. So I'm going to bring it back a little bit. It's maybe a little bit more. Somewhere around there. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay, so as far as the clarity, I don't normally put clarity in my photos, but I think I'm going to add just a little bit to this one, maybe about 0.4. And because there's a lot of muted tones, I want to make them pop a little bit. So I'm going to add some vibrance just to get those muted tones to pop just a little bit. And I'm going to pull the saturation down, maybe like two or three. Right. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. So I'm noticing a little bit of green in the photo, which I will take care of that at the end. But next I wanna to go to color grading. So I wanna add a little bit of blue. And what I do is I just kinda of drag this down to where it looks, it looks it looks crazy right now, but I can see what color I wanna put. So I'm thinking somewhere around, somewhere around 230 looks good. And then I'm gonna bring the saturation down to probably about 0.7 or eight. Do 0.7 and I'm gonna do the same for the highlights. So I'm just gonna kind of find that color that I like. I think somewhere around 217. And then again, I'm just gonna bring that saturation to about 0.7. And it doesn't look like we did much, but if I toggle this on and off, you can see it, it gives uh, a blue tone to the photo. So I like the way that looks. So I don't know if you can see it, but I see just a very slight green tint. And I wanna get rid of that. And I'm gonna go to calibration 
and I'm going to adjust this shadow slider. So I'm going to pull it more towards the magenta side. Maybe about 60. It's very slight, but it does make a difference. That looks pretty good right there. So next thing I'm going to do is add some local adjustments. So I'm going to grab this linear gradient brush and kind of darken this part of the image just a little bit. So I'm going to bring the shadows down and then drop the exposure just a little bit. Not too much. I don't want it to look unnatural. So maybe somewhere around, somewhere around there. And then I can kind of toggle this to see. I think that might be just a little bit too much. So somewhere around there, I think looks okay. And then I want to brighten up these highlights right here. So I'm going to grab the radial gradient brush. Then I'm going to bring this about right there and just bring that exposure up a bit, not too much, but maybe about right there. And then we can see it just gives a little bit of brightness to this part of the image. And let's go and look at the before and after. So here's the before and there's the after. All right, guys. So I think this looks pretty good. I'm going to get it ready to post. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing. I'm going to be posting more videos like this in the future. So I'll see you on the next one.